Well, why do you think stars twinkle? Hmm, I'm not sure. I never really thought about it. Is refraction associated with twinkling of stars? Definitely. The twinkling of stars can be explained through atmospheric refraction. Atmospheric refraction refers to the apparent random wavering or flickering of objects due to inconsistency in the physical conditions of the refracting media, such as air. In fact, atmospheric refraction can explain twinkling of stars as well as apparent sunrise and sunset. Let's first look at the twinkling of stars. Since our atmosphere is heterogeneous, that is, made up of many layers of various densities, the light reaching us from the sun or stars is refracted multiple times. As it crosses each medium, it refracts. Since these media or the layers of air are constantly moving, the angle of refraction of light is changing continuously. Therefore, we see the light from the stars flicker. In scientific terms, we refer to the twinkling of stars as astronomical scintillation. Twinkling of stars. The twinkling of a star is due to atmospheric refraction of starlight. The scientific name for the twinkling of stars is stellar scintillation or astronomical scintillation. Stars twinkle when we see them from the Earth's surface because we are viewing them through thick layers of turbulent moving air in the Earth's atmosphere. Stars, except for the Sun, appear as tiny dots in the sky. As the light travels through the many layers of the Earth's atmosphere, the light of the star is bent, refracted many times, and in random directions. Light is bent when it hits a change in density, like a pocket of cold air or hot air. This random refraction results in the star winking out. It looks as though the star moves a bit, and our eye interprets this as twinkling. Stars closer to the horizon appear to twinkle more than stars that are overhead. This is because the light of stars near the horizon has to travel through more air than the light of stars overhead and so is subject to more refraction. Also, planets do not usually twinkle because they are so close to us. They appear big enough that the twinkling is not noticeable, except when the air is extremely turbulent. Stars would not appear to twinkle if we viewed them from outer space or from a planet or moon that didn't have an atmosphere. And what were you saying about apparent sunrise and sunset? Well. Not many of us realize this, but the fact is, we see the sun rise before the sun actually rises above the horizon. So, when we see the first rays of sunlight, we are actually witnessing an apparent sunrise. This happens because atmospheric refraction causes astronomical objects to appear higher in the sky than they really are. Similarly, sunset occurs shortly after the sun crosses the horizon. Apparent position of sun. Because of atmospheric refraction, we do not see the sun or the stars in its true position except when it is directly overhead. As a ray of light from the sun enters Earth's atmospheric at B, it continuously bends towards the radius of the Earth. The ray of light will reach the observer at O, as if it had come in the direction AO instead of 
in its true direction BO. Consequently, we do not see the true position of the sun. It is due to atmospheric refraction that the sun is visible before actual sunrise and after actual sunset. When the sun is just below the horizon, its rays enter Earth's atmosphere and are refracted towards the Earth. The refracted rays reach us, making it appear as if the sun has already risen above the horizon. This is the apparent sunrise. The actual sunrise occurs when the sun actually crosses the horizon. Conversely, the apparent sunset occurs slightly later than the actual sunset. Since the light from the sun is already below the horizon, it refracts through the atmosphere, enabling us to see the apparent sunset even after the sun has already set. Do you know this fact? The sun appears to rise two minutes before the actual rise and it continues to be seen two minutes after it has actually set. Therefore, the day becomes longer by four minutes due to atmospheric refraction.